Snake, did you find out where that ship is headed? Yeah, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready for solo testing. It's basically combat worthy. That area is outside the Second Fleet's operational range, too. It must be a standalone Marine Corps project, which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent deployment without any naval assistance. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Snake, you need to go down to the holds and locate the actual metal... <gasps> Control room, communications and engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker hold secured. Infrared sensors placed and operational. Good work. Are the explosives in place? Yes, they are all planted. Listen, once we have what we came for, the tanker will be scuttled. And the vehicle's pilot? He's the only one who underwent the VR training. No one else can do it. Are you sure you can trust him? Your part in the mission is complete. You are to leave at once. No, it's not over yet. I can see the moon, even in this storm, pale as death. I have a bad feeling about this mission. You swore this to me, that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with the unit. I have nowhere else to go. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? You will be on the helicopter out of here now! Damn it! Freeze! Hands over your head! Now! Toss your gun overboard, slowly. A woman. Show your face. You men, you're all the same. Who are you? We are nomads. Wanderers. Set to move. Americans. So you ship women too. I'm a nomad too. What else do you have there? Take the knife and toss it. Not there. Toss it overboard. Hold that position. Now, turn around. You know what you're doing. It stopped me. Not too shabby, is it? New York, I mean. And that brings our tour to its conclusion! Scout knife with a surprise. You a Spetsnaz? I think you deserve a little credit. No one's ever dodged that shot of mine. But no one gets lucky twice, either. I 
been with the unit since I was born. I grew up on the battlefield. Conflict and victory were my parents. The unit is my life, my family. We've shared everything, all the bad and all the good. I have no one, nothing except the unit. Nothing else matters to me. Whoever you are, you're not stopping us. The ship appears to be under their control. The men have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? We've ID'd the old man. Who is he? Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich? One of Ocelot's allies? Yeah, the Gru Colonel. He's the one Ocelot was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. They're after Metal Gear. Everything's changed. This is not gonna be as simple as we thought. You could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the Cypher. A Marine Cypher T? No, Army. First the Marines, then the Russians, now the Army? You're right. This isn't gonna be simple. Snake, there's something I have to tell you. What? We didn't dig up this info about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How did you find out then? It was a tip. An anonymous tip. Anonymous? You've never trusted those. Why would you start now? I, uh... I have a younger sister. A stepsister. We have different parents. I only knew her for two years. You've never mentioned her before. So? The sender of the tip was E.E. E.E.? -E. E -E? Her name is Emma, but I always call her E.E. -E. Emma? Emmerich? Yeah. It just caught my eye, you know? I, I figured it was a coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. There's really no one out there who knows about her. When was the last time you saw her? Over ten years ago. You think it's a trap to lure us out here? I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up. I've got a light-equipped USP. I can take them on now. There's no ammo, but it takes a 9mm, just like the Marines M9. I'll find those somewhere around here. Don't raise too much racket with that thing. I hear you.
Raven?
good. Repair of the entrance way to the engine room on the port side is complete. We'll return to position following patrol of the small room on the port side. It was nothing. All clear. There was nothing wrong. Everything is all right. Snake, wait! Don't move! I see it. Some kind of device on both sides of the hall. Infrared sensors? Right. And they're linked to... Let me guess. Semtex. Exactly. Plastic explosives. So this is what they were talking about. Looks like it. If you trip the sensors... I'll be sleeping with the fishes, along with this entire ship. That sounds about right. I'm not in the mood to go sleep with the fishes, but there are too many sensors. Looks like I'll have to find another way. No need to worry. There's a way through. Take a close look. Do you see the thing with blinking green lights right next to the explosives? That's the control unit for the sensors. Destroy that, and the sensors stop functioning. You can't get in close enough to touch it, so you'll have to shoot it out. But the M9's knockout rounds won't work. The USP you picked up should do the trick. Use that gun. Freeze. Move!
Verrazano Bridge checkpoint passed. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in ten minutes' time for the scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. You are ordered to continue manning your posts until that time. 